toasty. It has been getting extremely hot. It's like too hot. When you look at the thermometer, that is what it says, too hot. It literally was over 105 degrees the other day. One of my kryptonites actually is the heat itself. It just puts me right down. It's the only thing that'll stop me from running, from jogging. I just get so weak in the heat. Whew. I do smell a little bit of wood smoke. And it smells pretty strongly. Smoke is definitely coming from that way. It could be a long ways away. Travels so well, especially with some wind picked up like this. It's a little unnerving having the smoke, especially coming right down the two mountains right there, funneling in. Off right there, a ways, ways, ways in the distance. Oh yeah, that's definitely it. There's a fire fairly close to us. I better go ahead and head down and let everybody else know that we do have fire in the area. That's not good! That's not good! Guys! As Bear alerts the wolf pack, the flames quickly spread. Oh, I see flames. Damn. Growing by the second and forcing an emergency evacuation. Bird, let's go. We've been warned about wildfires. We've been taking precautions, but I never thought for a second that one would spark up so fast and so intense. Holy hell. This is insane. The entire mountain is going up. I'm extremely concerned that it would take out the entire mountain. We've built up a lot of things that are necessities on the ranch. We built up the ostrich pen, we built up the barn, and we built up the main house. This house represents the wolf pack's entire dream. It is like worst possible nightmare that there could be. That's just what it looks like. The suburban wouldn't move, and it's broken, and so I didn't know what to do. You need to get your cat. This is the scariest thing that I've ever had to do. Slow, slow. Is everybody accounted for in here? We weren't going to stop until we found y'all. OK, spin around. Turn it, turn it, turn it. A deadly wildfire has spread to the Browns Mountain. Holy cow. The family and crew are forced to immediately evacuate. Oh, no. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. We just got some helicopter support. I assume they're going to drop water in it. Already, this is the biggest devastation that we've ever faced. When you finally have everything, there comes this literal wall of fire to destroy it. We got everyone evacuated. Uh, and now Bear and I are just down here with the fire crew, just watching them do their work, save the day. God bless them. Our home's burning, and there's nothing we can do about it. There's no way to help. I know firefighters and everyone's doing everything they can, but it, it hurts knowing I can't do anything for our animals. All the animals, as is, are either loose or with us. We're just praying that it doesn't ignite the entire mountain. They're wondering why I'm not there and when I'm going to come feed them and when I'm going to come save them. And I can't. Despite firefighters' best efforts, the wildfire devastates more than 5,000 acres overnight. Well, I'm quite concerned, actually, that this fire is still spreading. I just hope that all the animals and everything is safe and that we get to go back up soon, get our eyes on it, and see how much of it is intact. And is our barn still there? Is the forever home we were working on for mom and dad still there? We just don't know right now. We're in town, and there are helicopters and airplanes. They're dropping water on it. As much as we try to be prepared, I'm not prepared for this. It's been a little bit now, and we just, we're just we just in the dark. It's up to the good Lord at this point, trusting the big guy upstairs. It's not only us that's been affected. It's more people, too. This is a very devastating thing that's going to change a lot of lives. There are other families further down the mountain. There's the, the towns that are close by. There are orchards. There are farms. A lot of people stand to lose everything that they have. 
We have water, camping gear, and a little bit of like soups and stuff. Thank you guys, this will help a lot. In the bush, you know, the code is you help each other. It's not even just friends help friends, it's people help people. We've even had strangers reaching out to us, offering their pastures and offering their barns and their houses and their clothes up to us. And that just, it means the world in times like this. That evening. Rain, let's go. Shifting wind patterns give the Browns a short opening to mount a rescue. We just got permission to go up to the mountain. The Forest Service and the fire department says something to do with the atmosphere. The fire has died a little bit. We don't have time to go even tell anybody else. This window has to be now, and I'm not gonna waste a single second. With the fire still raging, it's the first and likely last opportunity to return to the mountain before all is lost. This is just insane. This would have been such a grand view. With only a very short window to rescue some of the animals, it doesn't leave us any time to like see what else is standing. Oh, babies! The horses, more than any of the other animals, they get spooked, they get scared, they end up not knowing what to do, and they just don't do well with the fire. Let's do that, okay? Come on, come on, babies! Come on, get back up, come on. Hey, everybody calm down, you gotta calm down. Okay, they're going back up. The team manages to wrangle four horses as the fire dangerously closes in. It's getting a little hot. Oh, geez, we gotta go. Okay, it's picking up. We gotta go, we gotta go, it's picking up up here. Over the next few days, the wildfire magnifies, devastating over 18,000 acres. Let's go. Come on. But fortunately for the Browns, they're able to embark on a few brief rescue missions. Yeah, we got you now. We rescued all the chickens, we rescued all the ducks, and we rescued all the goats. So it's like a weight off my back to be able to bring more of our livestock off the mountain and make sure that they stay OK. Whopper, I got a whopper. <laughs> the recovered livestock shelter at local homes and farms down mountain. But while most of their animals have been saved, Bird hopes the two remaining horses might have escaped to safety on nearby land. Woodland! Willow! Well, Woodland and Willow were the first horses I ever had. We have a special bond. I think that's horse. The hardest part for me right now is not knowing if they're OK. Did they even escape the fire? And I'm trying not to think those thoughts, but I can't help but think that I wasn't there, like I always said I would be, and I don't know that they are OK. I they, maybe they see me. Are they excited? You got my babies. Hello again. The last two oh, finally made it down. Thank you so much. I found them wandering through the ash together. Oh, I can't thank the people that actually went up and got the horses down enough. We got Woodland and Willow. It is a sign of hope. It's a sign that North Star Ranch isn't necessarily lost. You're so dirty. I know. Was it scary? Yeah, we're going to get that halter off you, baby. I think she remembered me. I think she somehow likes me more. Hi, baby. <gasps> Did you? <gasps> oh, yeah, you found them. They knew exactly where to go. Oh, I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. Oh, they're all happy to see Willow. Look at that. <laughs> they all have such a bond together, you know it? It is a huge blessing that all the horses made it off the mountain in one piece. This could have very easily been a lot worse than it has been, and that's, that's how I know that God is holding us in the palm of his hands. 
Okay, Woodland Willow, you, you seem to be settling nicely. Drink lots of water.